In this video, we are going to discuss the anatomy of the cervical plexus, which provides innervation to the head and neck. This plexus is located in the neck region deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle and anterolateral to the levator scapulae. It is formed by the anterior rami of the four upper cervical spinal nerves, C1 to C4. The fifth cervical nerve is sometimes also considered as part of the plexus due to its contribution in the formation of one of the deep branches of the cervical plexus, the phrenic nerve. The cervical nerves within this plexus are intertwined with each other in such a way that each inferior nerve receives fibers from the superior one. For instance, C3 receives fibers from C2, C4 receives fibers from C3, and so on. These communicating fibers are branches of the sympathetic trunk and are also called gray rami communicantes. Watch more videos in the Easy Anatomy app. With Easy Anatomy, you can learn much easier and faster. We provide a comprehensive video library, related PDF notes, and atlas sections with engaging flashcards. Download Easy Anatomy from the link in the description. Each of the cervical nerves, except for the first one, C1, splits into two branches, ascending and descending. They subsequently connect with the branches of adjacent cervical nerves, forming loops. These loops contribute to the formation of the cervical plexus. The cervical plexus has two types of branches, deep or muscular or anterior branches, which are motor branches that innervate muscles of the neck and superficial or cutaneous or posterior branches, which are sensory branches that supply the skin. Let us start with the sensory branches. The loop between C2 and C3 gives off the lesser occipital nerve, which contains fibers from C2, and innervates the skin of the neck and the skin of the scalp, posterior superior to the auricle. The great auricular nerve, which contains fibers from C2 and C3, ascends across the sternocleidomastoid muscle and divides into two branches at the inferior pole of the parotid gland. These are the posterior and anterior branches. It innervates the skin over the gland, the posterior inferior aspect of the auricle, and the area between the angle of the mandible and the mastoid process. The transverse cervical nerve contains fibers from C2 and C3 it curves around the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, passing deep to the platysma. It innervates the skin covering the anterior triangle of the neck. Supraclavicular nerves arise from the loop between C3 and C4. They contain fibers from C3 and C4 and pass as a common trunk under the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This trunk then divides into medial supraclavicular nerves, intermediate supraclavicular nerves, and lateral supraclavicular nerves. These branches innervate the skin of the neck region and the skin over the shoulder. Now let us discuss the motor or muscular branches of the cervical plexus. These are the so-called ansa cervicalis, the phrenic nerve, and several smaller muscular branches. The ansa cervicalis is a loop formed by two roots, the superior and inferior which is composed of fibers from nerves C1 to C3. The ansa cervicalis gives rise to several branches to the corresponding muscles. The sternohyoid branch C1 to C3, the sternothyroid branch C1 to C3, the geniohyoid branch C1 passes with the hypoglossal nerve, the omohyoid branch C1 to C3, and the thyrohyoid branch C1 passes with the hypoglossal nerve. The branches of the ansa cervicalis provide innervation to the mentioned infrahyoid muscles. The phrenic nerve receives most of its fibers from C4, with small contributions from C3 and C5 nerves. The nerve is formed in the area of the lateral part of the anterior scalene muscle at the level of the superior border of the thyroid cartilage. It descends with the internal jugular vein obliquely along the anterior scalenus muscle. It passes posteriorly to the subclavian vein, anteriorly to the internal thoracic artery, 
and enters the thoracic cavity. The phrenic nerve contains not only motor, but also sensory and sympathetic nerve fibers, which makes it a mixed nerve. It provides motor supply to the diaphragm as well as sensation to its central area. In the thoracic cavity, the nerve innervates the mediastinal pleura and pericardium. The motor branches of the cervical plexus also include fibers to the levator scapulae muscle, the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and the prevertebral muscles. Alright, here's a quick summary. The cervical plexus is formed by the anterior rami of the upper four cervical spinal nerves, C1 to C4, and has two types of branches, sensory and motor. The sensory branches include the lesser occipital nerve, the great auricular nerve, the transverse cervical nerve, and the supraclavicular nerves. The motor branches are represented by the ansa cervicalis, the phrenic nerve, and several smaller muscular branches.